Error code E153. What's the problem? What do you check? And if you want to learn how to take apart a ceiling cassette to get to the condensate pump, just in case you need to check it, clean it out, clean out the drain, there's a video I put in the link in the description that shows you how, step by step, to take apart a ceiling cassette. Hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that bell, ding, so you know what I'm doing. And let's get started, and let's figure out what the problem is when you have an error code E153. You're watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad. Let's get started. E153. What does it mean? Let me show you what to check. This is the outdoor unit. Downloaded the service manual for the cassette that I'm working on, and when I scroll down to look at the error codes, it shows me E153 is indoor floating switch secondary detection. So check. I have the RLC basic and troubleshooting guide, and this right here shows us the error code E153. Take a minute, pause the video, read this. It should be able to help you, give some insight to you, so that you can better handle this error code and know what to do. Pause the video. And if you want this guide, I can send it to you via email. Just click the join button, become a member. Let me know in the comments, say I joined, and I will send this to you. Pump. Got a little crud in it. Drain tube. Right here is the drain tube. Got to clean it out and the pump. Check valve. Check valve's plugged up. Clean it out. Oh, got it cleaned. Put my vacuum on the tube up there. Sucked out the drain and put it all back together now. When I have an error code E153, it usually tells me that there's some maintenance that's required. Usually, your pan is full, your float switch is activated, it shuts the unit off so that water doesn't pour out of the pan, and then you can go in there, you can take the unit apart, and then you can figure out, hey, is the drain tube stopped up? I need a vacuum cleaner probably, and I may need some towels. You don't wanna make a mess in the customer's house, takes a little bit of time, but usually it's just maintenance. Sometimes I've had to order a condensate pump, but most of the time it's just a drain tube. You take it all apart, you use a vacuum cleaner, you clean out the drain, you're good to go. You can type in the search bar, samsunghvac.com slash downloads, and it's gonna take you to a page that looks like this. You can actually type in the model number of the unit that you're currently working on, and you'll be able to find a manual for that unit so that you can get the error code list, okay? If you wanna know how to take that unit apart step by step and you haven't checked out that video or maybe that video doesn't work for you, once you download a service manual for the unit you're working on, there is a section for disassembly and reassembly of each indoor and outdoor unit. So this is what's so great about Samsung. The support is there, the instructions are there. Look at this, got that fascia panel, you take it off and then you got a couple screws for the electrical control panel and then you take those side covers off and then you got four screws for the four corners then you take the control panel off and you can slide the wires through that front fascia panel and then you got these four screws in the four corners that hold that drain pan up on the chassis of the indoor unit and once you get the drain pan out then you get to the condensate pump so super easy, super simple. I've got a video for you, or I just showed you how to get the service manual so that you can get to this section of the service manual. And it actually shows you the tools that you need for disassembly and reassembly. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something. Let me know in the comments what you learned. Let me know if you had an error code E153, what was the problem so that other people can learn from your comment. If you don't have any questions, that's fine. Let me know who you are and let me know where you're from down in the comments. If you want that troubleshooting guide, click the join button, become a member. Let me know in the comments, say I joined, not just subscribed, but you join. You click the join button. If you don't know how, comment below, say I don't know how to join. I'll send you a link. You can click that link, join, and then I will send you that troubleshooting guide via email. Before you leave, subscribe, hit that like button, hit that bell, ding, so you know what I'm doing. Really appreciate your support. I really appreciate all my subscribers, all my viewers. I hope to have way more time in the future to do more content because I know there's such a need for education. 
Remember HVAC, uh, SamsungHVAC.com, and then slash downloads is where you can get the service manuals. Thank you so much. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.